Man, I, uh, I, felt I felt alive. That's why I step in here, man. I ask my coaches if they're ready to, to feel alive every time I step in here. And, you know, I'll... This, it was my last fight. And no way I'm gonna come here without my father. It was first time when, uh, after what happened with my father, when UFC called me about Justin, I talked with my father, my, my mother, three days. She don't wanna go fight without father, but I promise her it's gonna be my last fight. And if I give my word, I have to follow this. It was my last fight here. I know only one thing. No. He was in the octagon. We were all just standing around listening. And, uh, you know, you can tell. I could tell it almost smelled like an upset tonight. The way that, you know, he reacted at the weigh-ins. The way that he um, acted when he was walking out tonight. You know, he didn't look like himself. Breathing heavy and taking deep breaths. And, you know, but wow. What's your expectations? I mean, obviously... Do you take him at his word that that's it, or do you, do you, do you ah, think listen, that maybe man, he'll change? This, what this guy's been through, we're all lucky that we got to see him fight tonight. Um, and I'm hearing rumors of, of other things that I didn't know about that you guys will hear about when he comes out later, I'm sure. Apparently, he was in the hospital. He broke his foot. Yeah. So, yeah. three weeks ago. So, he has two broken toes and a bone in his foot that's broken or something like that. That's what his corner was telling me. And... Uh, Never told anybody walking around. So, I mean, he is one of the toughest human beings on the planet. And he is just, he's the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. And, and seriously, you have to start putting him up there at GOAT status with, you know, whoever else you think is the GOAT. So what do you do? I mean, obviously you respect him. You give him his time. You, 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 do you, yeah, do you listen, talk to him and say, hey, man, we, we still got some ideas for you? I don't ever... I don't ever, listen, when guys want to fight, they want to fight. If they don't want to fight, they don't want to fight. Let them take some time off. Let them heal. Not not physically, but emotionally heal um, with what he's going through from losing his father. I said, we're all lucky we got to see what we saw tonight.